What's up guys, it's Rasim from RossmerTech.com and today I have something awesome to show you guys. I know a lot of you guys are going to like this. Now right before me here, this is an actual power supply and this is the world's smallest ATX power supply right here. This is the Pico PSU and I'm going to show you this up close right now. Alright guys, so this is the actual Pico power supply. This here is the 20 pin. This will fit in any 20 pin or any 24 pin motherboard. And right here, this is how you power it. I'll show you guys the power brick in a second. We got a standard Molex, we got a, a SATA power, and we got this four pin here. And this is the 120 volt version. There are other versions. I'm gonna leave a link to this and the other ones in the description. Again, now the reason I chose this one is because this will be perfect for my new Raspberry Pi cluster supercomputer video series. I needed a power supply that was very lightweight, very small, and this is the smallest power supply you can buy. This one was like 40 bucks but you also need to buy the adapter and I will show you guys the adapter right now. All right guys, so this is the power brick adapter. This doesn't come with the power supply, you have to buy the separate. This was like 30 bucks. So with a power adapter and the Pico power supply is like 60 bucks. But if you guys are looking for a very small power supply to power like your Raspberry Pis, right down here I have my Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna use this power supply to power the Raspberry Pis and all the components in my new Raspberry Pi 3 cluster supercomputer water cooled build. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you some of the adapters. This adapter here, this will connect to this 20 pin. This is a 24 pin. This 20 pin will connect to this here. And I'll show you how that works right now. Right, this connects to there. And the way this works, this has a power on and off switch. This will trigger the power supply to turn on or off. So it, it thinks that this is an actual ATX motherboard you're connected to. And this uh, trigger here will turn it on or off. And I'll show you how that works in a second. But again, the reason I wanted to uh, use this power supply is because I'm doing a, a cool build that you guys will hopefully like. It's a water-cooled Raspberry Pi 3 cluster build, and it's gonna be wall art, it's gonna be hung on the wall, so I needed a very low profile, small power supply. And this is the whole power supply, uh, minus this brick. This brick won't be in the build, it will just be on the floor powering this here. You'll have the cable running up to the actual base. This whole part here is gonna go into the actual build, so again, if you guys want to figure out how to turn this thing on, you need one of these adapters. They, they don't come with the power supply, but I'll leave a link to this adapter in the description. Now, the way I'm going to power the Raspberry Pis in my project is using this adapter here. This doesn't come with the power supply, but what this does is it turns your Molex here, Molex power. If I connect this here, it'll turn it to two 5-volt USB uh, adapters, and you can connect two Raspberry Pis to this one adapter. So I'm going to power all four of my Raspberry Pis using this power supply. And you could power a lot of other things. I'm gonna have pumps connected to this. I'll have this fan. I'm gonna show you guys this in a second. I'm gonna connect this fan to the power supply. Again, using the Molex connector. All you have to do is connect this end here to the Molex. Right? And now all that's left to do, I'm gonna leave this here so you guys can see it better. I have the switch here. I'm gonna connect this to the power supply. All right guys, so everything's pretty much connected here. I got this adapter connected to the Pico PSU. This adapter, again, will trick the PSU to thinking that this is a actual motherboard. And uh, it comes with this switch. The adapter doesn't come with the PSU, but it's pretty cheap, it's like $3. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description. This will allow me to power on the power supply. And whatever is connected to the power supply will be powered on once you hit the switch. What I have connected to the Pico PSU is a few adapters. I have this fan connected to my Molex portion here and I have uh, also connected to the Molex this adapter here which doesn't come with the PSU but it's pretty cheap again this one is also three dollars this uh, turns Molex into two 5 volt USB cables that you could connect your Raspberry Pis or any 5 volt device to and I'm going to be using multiple adapters so I can connect four Raspberry Pis for my project that I'll be working on but and I also have the fan connected so once I turn the power on you're going to see the Raspberry Pi light will turn on and the fan will power on so I'm gonna flip the switch right now. Bam! Right here you can see the lights turn on the Raspberry Pi, the fan kit in, and everything is powered on. So again, this is the world's smallest PSU. If you guys are looking for a small PSU that you wanna use for your Raspberry Pis or power any device, it's low profile. It's not that expensive, it's like $30, but you also need the adapters and stuff like that. I'll leave a link to everything in the description. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossProtect.com and thank you for watching.